Hi, I'm John McNee, editor of Forestry Journal. I'm at Elmia Wood talking to Norbert from ProSilva. Uh, Norbert, what are you showing here? Okay, so we have here our two smallest models, actually. Right. Everybody thinks they are quite big compared yeah. with what the rest is displaying, but uh, this is our smallest model, uh -huh. uh, the S3 Harvester, mm -hmm. and we have three bigger models. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, basically, we have a four-wheel version and a, and a six-wheel version. Mm -hmm. And uh, with all models, what is what is uh, what is similar is the, is the back end. So we have a three-frame structure. Yeah. So we have the the back frame, mm -hmm. the articulated steering. Then we have a middle frame and we have a front frame. Mm -hmm. And then based on the model uh, that we have, uh, we can have a bigger and stronger front frame. So we can install bigger cranes, bigger heads, and uh, uh, that, that defines then the range. But then uh, we can do other, other things. We can mount very bigger wheels, 42 inch wheels on the back. Yeah. Uh, we can have pendulum arms on the back. Uh -huh. um, so, but basically all the models have the same size engine, same pumps. We can have double pumps, single pump, whatever you want, basically. Yeah. And um, these machines are, are built so that we have a, a main structure of basically two, two tubes mm -hmm. on either side. And one is the diesel tank, the other side is the hydraulic oil tank. And all the main hydraulic components are in between those. Mm -hmm. So this keeps the center point of gravity really low. And um, that ha this has advantages with regards to stability, mm -hmm. but also the impact to the forest floor. Uh, all wheels are independently hydraulically controlled, yeah. you know, so there's no mechanical transmission whatsoever. Every wheel has its own hydraulic motor, mm -hmm. uh, which means also that we have very little wheel slip, which also has then a very positive impact to the forest floor. Mm -hmm. So we, we believe that these are actually very, yeah, as environmental friendly as that can be, and, yeah. uh, and, but also, yeah, we like good traction. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, besides uh, soft, soft ground logging, peatland logging, mm -hmm. for example, uh, they work also very well on, on steep ground, right? Because the tractive effort is, is really good. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you can have them with tilting cabins, um, rotating cabins. Uh, if you have the pendulum arms, you have sideway leveling. Uh, another uh, unique feature on this machine is that the, the frame lock is controlled together with the tilt of the crane pedestal. Mm -hmm. So uh, normally you would have a frame lock around the articulation and, uh, and we have combined it with the, with the tilt of the, of the crane. So that's also a unique feature of, mm -hmm. of this machine. The units that are already out there, where, where can they be found? So uh, our main customer bases are, are in Finland and Sweden and, and we have quite a nice customer base in Chile, South America, but we have also units in, in Central Europe, in Germany, Netherlands, um, um, we have units in Japan, in Hokkaido, uh -huh. so, so that's, that's where our main customer bases are. Yeah. And a lot of the, the brochures and leaflets say the, the smart guy. Yeah. What does that mean? What does well, that mean? I think that all has to do with the way uh, the, the, the frame layout is and, uh -huh. and, and, and the way uh, the, the, the hydraulic design is. Mm. And, and uh, I, it refers a little bit to that if, if you want to do things a little bit different than, than, than what the rest is doing, then, then uh, that this might be your machine of choice. Mm. And, and uh, because of the, 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 the layout and the design, we also believe that the, the, the maintenance and service costs is really low. Mm. 